section we will be discussing the different types of thunderstorms. Thunderstorms are usually accompanied by strong winds, heavy rain, and sometimes hail or no precipitation at all. Sometimes a very strong thunderstorm will be capable of producing tornadoes. A thunderstorm affects a relatively small area when compared to a hurricane or a winter storm. The typical thunderstorm is 15 miles in diameter and lasts an average of 30 minutes. Despite their small size, all thunderstorms are dangerous. The four types of thunderstorms we are going to discuss include supercell, squall lines, multi-cell clusters, and single cell. Which type forms depends on the instability and relative wind conditions at different layers of the atmosphere. The supercell is a highly organized individual thunderstorm. Supercell thunderstorms are capable of producing hail greater than 2 inches in diameter, strong downburst winds greater than 80 miles per hour, and strong to occasionally violent tornadoes. Another thunderstorm classification is the squall line. Individual storms organize into squall lines when shear and instability parameters are favorable. Squall lines are best known as producers of strong and damaging straight line winds. Squall lines can move very rapidly with speeds of 40 to 60 miles per hour and be over 500 miles long. The multi-cell cluster is the most common type of thunderstorm. It consists of large groups of cells with each cell in a different phase in the thunderstorm life cycle. Multi-cell thunderstorms produce very heavy rain, downburst winds of up to 80 miles per hour, golf ball sized hail, and occasionally weak tornadoes. The next type of thunderstorm we will discuss is the single cell thunderstorm. Single cell thunderstorms have lifetime of only 20 to 30 minutes and typically produce localized very heavy rainfall, small hail, and brief gusty winds. Thank you for watching this brief presentation on our 2015 Severe Weather Awareness Campaign.